Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a brief video on how to graph one variable inequalities. All right. So there's going to be a couple pages of notes, so please follow along with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end, see how you did. All right. So take a look at the first page here. And you're going to notice we have like this little table over here. And would you please put a little star next to this? Because this table really shows you everything you need to know. Okay. So the first column we have the different inequality symbols. So, and then the meaning is in the next column, all right? So this first symbol, all right, means less than. The next symbol means greater than, all right? This third symbol means less than or equal to. This little bar right here, right, is the difference between less than and less than or equal to, all right? And then this one here is gonna be greater than or equal to, all right? Now you probably knew that already, but when graphing inequalities, um, you need to know how to, how to graph them with certain either open or closed circles, all right? So anytime that you're graphing an inequality that's less than, you're going to use an open circle right here, all right? It looks like it, like this like the letter O, all right? Same thing for when you're graphing um, a greater than inequality. Same thing, an open circle, all right? But notice what happens to the circle when you get down here, all right? These are called closed circles because... Um, it's less than or equal to. So let me just show you some examples. Here we have x is greater than or equal to three, all right? So because three can be a solution, right? The three is closed then. So that means that three can actually be a solution to the inequality, all right? And so x is greater than or equal to three. That's why the arrow goes to the right. Now let's compare that to this one where x is just greater than three, all right? So because x has to be bigger than three, Three is not a solution, right? And that's why it's an open circle. See the difference? So greater than or equal to three, close. Greater than three, it's an open circle. All right? All right, if you turn the page, let's graph some inequalities. All right? So here we have x is gonna be greater than negative three. All right, so let's first put some values in here. So we're gonna have negative three here. And that's going to be x is greater than. So it's going to be an open circle. And we need to plug in some values here. So we need to put some numbers, <coughs> excuse me, that are greater than negative 3. So let's go with uh, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. If we had more room, we had the positive, right? And then to the left, let's go with negative 4, and negative 5, and negative 6. And x is going to be greater than negative 3. So we're going to draw a line going to the right of negative 3. All right? So any value to the right of negative 3, not including negative 3, is a solution to the inequality. Let's try this one. Number 2. x is less than or equal to 2. All right? Now this time we're going to have a closed circle because 2 could, could be a solution, right? So I'm going to put 2 underneath the closed circle. And let's go a couple numbers to the right. We'll go 3, 4, and then to the left will be one and zero. And x is less than or equal to two. So we're gonna have all the values to the left of the two. But this time, two could be a solution to this inequality. All right, last but not least, we have x is greater than or equal to negative five. All right, so this time we're gonna have a closed circle again. All right, and this is gonna be negative five. And then to the right of negative five is a negative four, and negative three, and negative two. And then to the left, it's gonna be less than, right? So it's gonna be negative six, and negative seven, and negative eight. And x is gonna be greater than or equal to negative five. So it's gonna be all the values to the right of negative five. But again, negative five can certainly be a solution to this inequality as well, all right? Now that you understand how uh, to graph inequalities, won't you uh, pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And then when you're done, you can hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these uh, practice problems, okay? So the first one we have n is less than or equal to negative three, all right? So I'm gonna put a closed circle down here at negative three, and it's gonna be all the values to the left of negative three. So it's gonna be like this, with an arrow, all right? 
Next one, we have n is greater than 3. So this is going to be an, an open circle. And again, it's going to be all the values to the right of 3. All right, because n is greater than 3. Now, the last one I gave you a mixed number. Here we have n is greater than or equal to 2.5. All right. And notice on every one of these lines, I put a integer. So 2.5 is going to be between 2 and 3, right? So I'm going to put a closed circle between 2 and 3. We'll call that two and a half. And it's going to be to the right. We're going to shade in the right of the two and a half. And there it is. All right. The last problems you had to actually write the graphs of each inequality. All right. So here we have um, an open circle, right? And it looks like it's going to be between 10 and 12. And we're going to the right. So we're going to use x for the variable. So x is going to be greater than 11. This one here, we have a closed circle at negative 2, and we're going to the right. So x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Here we have an open circle going to the left, so x is going to be less than negative 3. Here we have a closed circle going to the left, so x is going to be less than or equal to 10. Here we have a closed circle between 10 and 12. So this one's going to be x is going to be less than or equal to 11. And last but not least, we have an open circle. And looks like we're going to the right of 5. So x is going to be greater than 5. All right, how'd you do with these practice problems?